What's up guys this is Ronnie welcome back to our channel total technology so this is tutorial 12 and today's topic will be how to delete Jira issues in bulk uh, from REST API using Python so whenever you are going to talk about bulk uh, deletion or bulk creation definitely there will be some sort of uh, CSV file we will be going to read the CSV file and based on the information available in the CSV file we are going to delete those things so in this tutorial uh, first of all I will be going to uh, create a CSV file and based on the CSV file we will be going to delete the issues one by one so before I delete the issue let me just open some uh, important link for example if you go to the second slide the uh, the API link for uh, deleting um, Jira issues in bulk is here so you don't need to worry about that or oh, second thing is that you will get the information from here I'll be going to uh, use uh, this thing actually okay uh, where is that actually yes okay so I'll be going to use that okay so first thing first let me create a file uh, input file so what I'll do I'll just create a file call uh, issue underscore delete dot csv okay mm, inside the issue I'll be just going to uh, update the issue IDs okay so let me open my Jira actually so this is my Jira if you see I have multiple issues are there actually so out of that I want to delete 27 28 29 okay so let me just create something uh, like TTS 27 TTS 28 TTS 29 okay TTS 27 28 29 so I'll be going to delete this three or maybe uh, 27, 28, 29 and 30 maybe I can add 30 okay that's it okay so now I have created a file so now let me just copy from here actually any of the code is copy if we are going to copy anything from here will be fine okay so let me try to copy let me try to copy this thing okay okay just do it so i have copied this thing so i need to remove few parts from here what are the parts actually required and what are the parts we need to keep we'll see this okay first thing uh just remove some part from here uh i think I don't need uh, this part actually first remove this part this part is not required and definitely I need the URL but URL is going to be kind of a different thing okay so so we'll use it here actually okay so maybe I can write uh, first of all I need to read from the CSV file okay so it is here header is here and everything is here so first of all with IO maybe I can make it a bit bigger yes with IO dot open and inside that I'll be going to write the file name so it should be uh, where is the file name issue underscore delete the CSV issue underscore delete dot csv and after that it will be in read mode then encoding will be utf-8 as f1 okay and after that maybe i can write data equals to f1 dot read okay like this and after that to just print this thing okay let's see and can just mark them like this and let's try to run this thing python 3.7 tutorial 12.py see i'm able to read all this thing so now we'll try to create the for loop okay 
so now data equals to data dot split and it will be split by a uh, new line character so then for uh, id maybe i can just write id id is fine id in data cause uh, uh, let me tell you why i'm just going to do this thing if you print data here okay so actually this data is now a list and every uh, item in the list is a uh, uh, this thing because I'm going I, I have actually split it using new line character okay so if you run this thing you will get a list and every item in the list is a ID so I have to iterate through this thing okay okay I don't need this thing okay and now I'll be going to create the URL actually URL is equals to so what will be the URL so let me open this thing so url will be this one actually just copy this thing okay okay this one up to this part okay and after that there will be something like this and after that it will be id okay so this is something like that okay so let me check uh, yes url is created now what i'll do i'll just try to okay fine so it should be request or delete actually let me delete okay and url is there header is there i don't need the payload actually and authentication is fine so let me check if everything is fine yes i think everything is fine don't worry so i can easily delete this thing now so what is happening here here i'm actually importing the library i'm just setting the header and after that i'm just reading from the file and and here actually i'm just iterating through this loop and every time a loop runs it is actually creating a new url and i am going to hit the url from here so that's it with this is very easy so let's run this thing hopefully there should not be any error okay something problem what is that uh, okay <laughs> my mistake it is not your domain so it should be my uh, this thing so my url is this one so I always do this sort of mistake this is normal okay fine so let's run this thing now something is happening yes it's done no error means it's completed so let me go here so I delete it see that uh, all gone 27 28 29 30 is gone now 31 32 33 34 let's try to change this file again okay so you should delete so let's make it 31 32 maybe i don't know what else is there 31 32 33 34 35 36 okay let's delete everything 33 34 35 36 okay let's run this thing see everything is here if you repress this thing still it is here okay now i'll try to run this thing and after that i will do a refresh that's it it's done so you if you open this thing see all gone so no issues so now within a few second or fraction of a second we read from the input file we created the dynamic url actually we are doing this thing in a loop and again it's a bulk operation you are going to actually we're performing this thing for multiple users so definitely automation is uh, required when your uh, task volume or uh, like request volume is huge because nobody is going to ask you to do uh, automation for one two or uh, three requests definitely if there is a big task and time uh, consuming task uh, is uh, uh, requested by the client or maybe your business definitely that time it is actually makes sense to use automation and if you know this sort of technologies 
tricks tips whatever you can say definitely you will be benefited and trust me guys uh, at this moment maybe 95 percent companies or organizations are using jira for tracking their project management daily to daily activity uh, issues or maybe how the project development is going on uh, many aspects so if you know automation you will definitely bring some extra value to your project for your customer okay so enough of talking guys and that's it for today but before i conclude the video i'd like to highlight two things uh, guys uh, this is tutorial number 12 and as you uh, can see we already started some sort of advanced uh, topics now because in the initial part we just deleted simple single issue or created single issue or uh, deleting single uh, issue and now we are doing everything in bulk and that too by reading from some sort of csv file so in future videos uh, like use cases are going to be very complex and advanced so i hi highly recommend you guys to go ahead and start watching the videos from the beginning if you anyone is interested to like pursue their career in this uh, technology then it is actually makes sense to uh, start and watch the playlist from the beginning and try to do some sort of practice or until and unless you are not doing your or uh, writing your code by your own it's not much uh, like uh, going to benefit you actually because definitely will forget after some time so you have to practice or else eventually you'll forget within the time sometime okay and last thing i need some sort of feedback good and bad doesn't matter that has to be honest feedback so that i'll be able to understand how i'm actually uh, contributing for you guys knowledge or like kind of um, extending your knowledge or not whether it is uh, uh, helping you to gain some sort of knowledge actually if you're not able to get any benefit there is no point of uh, like myself to create this video if you are able to get some values then my purpose will be solved if you think that something is missing some parts are uh, like requires some more thing or content is very dull then probably you can also ask me i'll try to uh, like come up with some better content or better presentation okay so that's it guys we'll see you in the next video till then take care goodbye and have a nice day